obviously there are certain boundaries in the relationship, but it really makes you think about, um, you know, what's important, why you love this person, and, you know, you start to really hold things true that are deeper than just sex, and I think that on top of that, you can share sex with other people together, and that's really bonding, that's really fun. Are you ever worried that, you, you, do you ever get jealous of him if he has sex with other people? Yeah. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. So how does that strengthen your relationship? Um, because we're able to talk about it, and I think every time that I bring up a concern, and he's able to soothe it, and we're really able to like work on that bond, it just makes it stronger. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cake Challenges on Star with Daddy Issues on Casual Sex. Um, let's get right into this video. I think a lot of people, both men and women, they're kind of frustrated with the current dating mm -hmm. landscape. Do you have any thoughts on this? What's your diagnosis and any solutions? And we'll oh, yeah. go, we'll it's open a, it up. Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, I think people need to date with the intent to marry. Yeah, I, I'm a big critic of hookup culture in its current form. Um, I believe sex should be sacred and is sacred. And it's, sure. it's really way thrown away way too generously in this society and culture. <laughs> Um, and I can tell you, I'm super blessed. I have the best wife in the world. We have an amazing life. Um, building a family is the coolest thing ever. And I, my prayer for all of you is that you one day can do that. It's, That's so cute. It's, um, <laughs> it's honestly the most joyful thing. And I, you know, I've had some pretty amazing experiences. I've been very, very blessed. Very lucky, you could say, but very blessed is the word I would use. And the greatest joy I've ever had is coming home to my little daughter running up to my leg. There's nothing that even comes close to it. Not yeah. flying on Air Force One, not meeting with presidents. That's all that pales in comparison to your little girl coming up and squeezing your leg. <laughs> okay, got it. Uh, does anybody else have any thoughts on that with, uh, you know? Yeah, so I just wanted to circle back because you said something that caught my attention and I disagree with it. Um, because you said something like, um, I hope all of you can like experience that and like, you said something like, I hope all of you can experience that. And I mean, I don't disagree with that. I hope we can all experience joy in life like that. That's amazing. But I just feel like, I don't know why you said it that way. Like maybe we're not going to experience that because we don't have the same values as you. I Is that what he said? That from that. I thought it was I don't, I don't think that's what, <laughs> I don't know. That's not the impression I, I got, but I'll, I'll, if Charlie wants to answer. Well, if I said it that way, I didn't mean it that way. Maybe you can tell me more about your, your line of work. What would you like to know? Um, do you think that it's going to create a, a good, happy family in the future? Um, right now, I'm working on it, yeah. Me that's and good. my uh, boyfriend are doing really well in our relationship. And honestly, I think contrary to what most people would believe, I think um, being in porn has strengthened us. What, why is that? I, I, I've, I've never heard that. I'm, yeah. What, can you tell me why? So basically like being in porn and having sort of like this open type of relationship where you can have sex with other people. Um, obviously there are certain boundaries in the relationship, but it really makes you think about, um, you know, what's important, why you love this person, and, you know, you start to really hold things true that are deeper than just sex, and I think that on top of that, you can share sex with other people together, and that's really bonding, that's really fun. Are you ever oh, worried uh, that... What? You, you, do you ever get jealous of him if he has sex with other people? Yeah. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. So how does that strengthen your relationship? Um, because we're able to talk about it, and I think every time that I bring up a concern and he's able to soothe it and we're really able to like work on that bond, it just Jeez. makes it stronger. Have you ever, when you were having sex, do you ever think it's more than physical? That maybe there's emotional and spiritual connections you might be introducing? No. So it's a purely physical experience? Yeah. See. For me, sex is more than physical. It's actually, that's the least part of sex for me because I get to share it with my soulmate. Mm. It's my best friend. It's definitely a big energy exchange. It's, yeah. yeah, it's a big energy exchange. And so Molly, I would ask respectfully, you know, wouldn't you want to only share that energy exchange with the person that you love most and want to have children with? 
Um, I think sex can exchange different types of energies. So like you can exchange an intimate type of energy or you can exchange a really passionate, like horny type of energy. You can exchange dull energy during sex. You can exchange manipulative energy during sex. Sex can be used for a wide variety of things. And I think the biggest one is like marital spiritual connection, mm -hmm. but you can't deny that there's other benefits to it as well. Who if brought you, this guy to the show? Never, if you could be with your boyfriend currently, and I waved a magic wand and I said, you can make a million dollars a year and never do porn again, would you? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Period. Okay. What? <laughs> Are you making it's more crazy. than that a year, Molly? Uh, not yet. Oh, well yeah. then, I mean, aren't you doing that? That's your profession, so I assume you're doing that to make money, correct? Yeah, 100%. Well, also but Charlie doing... just has a magical wand. He's got, that's not a wand. Um, he's, <laughs> For he's, the sake of argument. He's right. used the wand. You can make a, a million dollars a year. Yeah. You don't have to do, uh, you know, so the adult content. Way, yeah. Well, the thing is, I wouldn't have to do it. That would be great, but I would still want to do it. I'm, I mean, personally, like, I'm an exhibitionist. I love, like, putting my sexual self out oh. there for other people to see, for other people to... Like, you know, touch themselves to, have fun with. Huh? Um, can I, I love Can I ask I you a, a question? Since you're about presenting yourself to the world, do you have a good relationship with your father? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> no, I don't talk to him. I, I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. This is a lot. This is a lot. I am... I am ashamed of our generation to be seen, if I'm to be frank. Because how in the world would someone think like her? Like how in the world does having numerous sex with other partners, with other people, strengthen your relationship? It is silly of her to use such word during this podcast. It is, it is silly. It makes absolutely no sense of having sex with other people and you are still jealous your boyfriend is having sex with another person and you say that strengthens your relationship much better. It's it's crazy. Anyone who thinks about that and says he's right is delusional. He's, he's, yeah, he's had some mental illness. This is, this is, God. <sighs> because people think like this, like seriously, do people think like this guy? Because it's crazy. She has daddy issue. She does not care. Now she's doing the sex not because of the money, but because of the pleasure. And it's, I see it as an addict. It's not just for the money. And she's addicted to it. Different people touching her. She's addicted to it. She's used to it. She just don't want to stop it. You see people like this, um, no offense, I feel like, they feel like they are forever young and they will forever be young. Give her 10 years into her career or at most 15 years. She will get fed up of this and she will regret all her actions. She will start saying she was young and stupid. This is how a lot of people who have such narrative end up to be. No offense. I, I'm, I'm not wishing her. But that is how the pattern orders work. And it's It's... It's crazy that she she does it and she feel like she's doing it for other people to just touch herself and feel happy for herself. She feel like she's making impact in the world. She's she's well, number one condemning herself. Number two, she's making absolutely no impact in the world, no impact. For her, she's making an impact. She's making absolutely no impact. She says sex for her is just physical. Sex is beyond physical. Anyone who says sex, sex is just, yeah, just touch, touch, have sex. There are emotions. There are emotions in sex, guys. This is a spiritual aspect. This is, this is, I, I am ashamed. Like, when if I'm to see her, I don't know her from anywhere. I don't know her. But I am ashamed that such words are coming out from her own lips. It's, this our generation, like, we have to pray, we have to pray, we have to pray for our life. We are, we are, 
I would say I don't want to use the word condemned, but it's terrible, guys. We need to pray for our life. We need to seek God back. We need to ask for forgiveness. We need to give our life back to Christ. This generation is getting really, really bad, really serious. Because if a young girl like this thinks this way, it's terrible. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, you in my bed. I got scales on.